Hello friends, this is our MPMC project. So in this project, we are taking up two major problems and try to provide suitable solutions. As we know, in every class, time is spent in taking attendance and uh, power is wasted by unconditional use of lights, fans, etc. So we have designed an automated att attendance system which will detect every individual on the basis of their heights and uh, an automated main control system which will on when first person enters into the class. So for automated attendance system, the individual's height is measured which is compared with the heights that are performed in the memory unit. Okay. Now let's look at the circuit and the components which are used in making this project. First we have the microcontroller board which is the Arduino Uno board with Atmega 328D microcontroller chip. This board controls all the operations and is programmed using the Arduino software in the laptop. Next we have the LCD display which shows the name and the registration of the student entering the room. This display is essential to ensure that the correct individual is detected and is allotted the attendance. Next, we have the UV sensor, which detects the height of the individual by sending ultrasonic sound. The length of the door is measured and is pre-stored in the memory. The UV sensor is fixed at the casing above the top rail of the door. A person enters the room. The distance up to his head is measured. This distance is then subtracted from the length of the door, which is stored in the memory to obtain the height of the individual. Next, we have the PIR sensor or the passive infrared sensor. This sensor can act as a motion detector and can even detect human beings on the basis of their unique body heat levels. Now, let's look into the working of the circuit. So, as soon as the first person enters into the room, the UV sensor detects the person by measuring the height and compared it with the pre-stored. Heights in the memory, when the first match is obtained, the mains power is enabled. Here, the mains is represented using an LED. Here, the mains power is... Here, the main supply is enabled and the mains is represented by using an LED. For demonstration purposes, we have a, as soon as the first person enters the room, the UV sensor detects the person by measuring the height and compared with pre-stored heights in the memory. When the first ma match is obtained, the main power is enabled. Here we uh, here we represent the main supply by using a battery by using a battery and uh, LED, which is used to represent that this main supply is on or off, or to state the condition of this whether this main supply is on or off. Okay. Mm. Yeah, now we have considered the students as an object and their heights as the distance between the sensor and the object. So first here at a distance of 10 centimeters, Raga would be detected. So let us... Uh, yeah, here we have seen that the main supply is on initially when it, when the uh, when Raga Pakala came inside the room and the display is Raga Pakala. So when the distance is changed to 20 centimeters, it will go to M Dinesh. So our display will be M Dinesh. Similarly, in the case of Prasanna, the distance between the UV sensor and this thing is 30 centimeters. Uh, 30 centimeters and the display is N Prasanna. So Raghavapakala, M Dinesh, N Prasanna. Three cases, three different persons, and the attendance is registered as as uh, as per the situation by measuring the height between the UV sensor and and the object. And the main supply will on till the last person came out of the class. Then there is a sensor, PI sensor, PIR sensor, uh, which detects whether the motion is there or not, whether whether any person is coming into the room or not. It's demonstration is so it detects the movement of the hand, and according to the movement of the hand, it is the LED is lighted up. 
So basically, this PA sensor is able to switch on the lights and fans automatically when the person came near to that uh, switch and uh, light and fan, lights and fans. But so power conversion, uh, power efficiency is there. We can be achieved through this PA sensor and this. which just can be automatically on and automatically it will be off uh, based on the situation of the students which which, uh, which they are living inside the, uh, which they are inside the, uh, the classroom or they are living in the classroom so this is just an idea and uh, we, we need to extend this but uh, our project is primarily confined to con this part only that means automatic attendance system with automatic main control so that is our project hope you have liked it